Usually the humble onion is a base for other dishes, but here I really want to showcase them. I'm going to give them a bit of a sweet and sour feel, agrodolce they say in Italian. I'm going to roast them long and slow so they become really caramelised and give them a real punch of flavour using capers and sultanas. So I'm just using red onions, Spanish onions, and what I've done is peeled them and cut them in half horizontally. I want to cut them horizontally so you see all those beautiful circles in the centre. It's just for presentation and I think it makes such a difference. So to this we're going to add some pine nuts. Sprinkle the pine nuts over and in and around our onions. This is for four people so I've got one onion per person. Baby capers, sprinkle them in and around again. Some sugar, this is going to help caramelise the base of the onions and really accentuate the sweetness of the onions. And sultanas, we'll sprinkle them over. A few little extra ones there. And then for the sour component, I like to use red wine vinegar for this. I'm going to serve this with some swordfish, which is quite meaty, so I do want those zingy flavours. Finally, some good quality extra virgin olive oil. We're just going to drizzle a good amount of that over the top. Now I'm actually using my pan as the baking dish because I want to start it on the stove top and then move it to the oven where it'll finish cooking. So I'll just place the detachable handle on and then straight onto the stove top. And I want to cook this until it just starts to sizzle. Then it goes straight into the oven at 160 degrees and it's going to cook for about 35 to 40 minutes or until these onions have become really, really soft. Our onions have come out of the oven. How good do they look? They've shrunk slightly. They are so soft. And all of these juices on the base makes a fantastic sauce for our fish. Now the swordfish I've taken out of the fridge, just like any other protein, you don't want it to be freezing cold when you cook it. So I brought this out about 20 minutes ago. While the onions cook there, I'm just going to place my handle onto another pan, a smaller pan. You can see that this pan has been preheating, it's piping hot. The thermo signal is solid red, so that's the perfect indication that that pan is really hot, ready to start frying. So our swordfish medallions, a drizzle of oil and some pepper, freshly cracked pepper over the top and as always some salt and we'll just coat each medallion in it. This fish, because it is quite meaty and steaky, I think it's really nice with that sweet and sour kind of robust flavour from the onions. If you want to change up the fish you could absolutely use some tuna for this recipe. So in it goes, good sizzle, that's what we're after. Because the swordfish is at room temperature, it's all about flash frying. You don't want to overcook this. If you overcook it, it will dry out. So I'm just going to get a palette knife. We're just going to turn them. Ah, perfect. That's what I'm after. Nice caramelisation and really quick cooking. And I'll just give that a few moments while we start plating up the onions. So I'm going to get the largest one here. Just be really careful because it's so soft it will fall apart. Place this onto the plate in the centre, grab a piece of fish and we'll just rest that on the top and all of these juices, so much flavour. It's an oil that has the sweetness and the sour flavours from all those extra ingredients. Just drizzle that over the top, let it fall down the bottom. One last spoonful, almost forming a little moat around the onion there. It's a really elegant dish, very Italian inspired with that sweet and sour agrodolce, nice piece of swordfish, simple ingredients. If you're a bit of an onion fan, then give that a go. It's super special.